Welcome to another update from Force 13. The system that we look at is what the Joy Typhoon Warning Center has as Typhoon Leapy. The Japanese Meteorological Agency re-clarified their position on Yagi and they downgraded it to a tropical depression. Here's the current track chart on the typhoon. We will have more information on Tuesday morning local time. And shortly the information on the Typhoon. Now here's a look at the JTWC satellite imagery and it's located 26 decimal 5 degrees north, 138 decimal 6 degrees east. It's uh, tracking 310 degrees at 12 knots and maximum sustained wind 65 knots gusting 80. And is 689 nautical miles southeast of Sasebo, Japan, tracking northwest at 12 knots. Wave height is 21 feet. Animated infrared satellite imagery continues to depict a midget system 90 to 100 nautical mile diameter with a persistent central dense overcast feature. A 85 gigahertz image indicates a microwave eye feature with some degradation to the eyewall structures, specifically breaks in the east-west quadrants. Overall, there is good confidence in the initial position and the intensity of success at 65 knots based on Borak intensities or intensity estimate of T4. Here's a NOAA flow that's on the, the system. Upper level analysis indicates a favorable environment, low vertical wind shear, good pole without flow, and enhanced by the upper level cell to the east, developing upper low south of Tokyo. Typhoon 19W tracking northwest under the steering influence of the subtropical ridge to the east and northeast is expected to continue to track northwest through the 24 hours. West northwest to rest within the next 72 hours as it transitions to the steering influence of the steering ridge position over western Japan. The Pivotal Weather website is a GFS model and we're looking at precipitation. And it's expected to encounter moderate levels of vertical wind shear. 19W will become embedded within the northern periphery of a broad system forecast to develop east of Taiwan after 24 hours. Here's some uh, tracks on the system. This information is available on the Tropical Tippets uh, website. Typhoon 19W will become embedded within the northern, northern periphery of a broad system forecast to develop east of Taiwan and should dissipate within 72 hours due to the overall marginal conditions. 
with the exception of the HWRF model, which we curves the system through the steering wheel. The upper level divergence is only around 20 to 30 knots. And as mentioned a couple of minutes ago, we will provide a comprehensive uh, look, uptake at what is going on in the Westpac and we also have 99W here's the latest winch shear and we also have Tropical Depression 20 which I think has been upgraded to be bingo. That's 20 W. 850 minute bar vorticity and not much change since our earlier update. That's with for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.